good morning all so in today's class we will see a few problems on combinations so the first question is prove that ncr is equal to n minus 1 cr minus 1 plus n minus 1 c r so we have seen the notations CNR. So CNR is N factorial by R factorial into N minus R factorial. So this can be also represented in this form. You mean uh, CNR is also equivalent to C N N minus R. So if you find C N N minus R again, namaki same expression So CNR is same as C N N minus R. Uh, okay, so this is the notation for NCR. Now, here, uh, so you have N and R belongs to N and R is less than or equal to N. So, uh, we will see uh, two different proofs for uh, this particular result. So, first one is an algebraic proof. So, algebraic proof is you start with one of the sides. So, we will right side with the start team. So, we will show that the uh, right side sum is same as the one on the left side. So, that is the algebraic proof. And uh, the second proof is combinatorial proof. We will do combinatorial problem which problem in the base level. We will solve the equation. Uh, so, in the algebraic proof, so let us start with n minus 1 cr minus 1 plus n minus 1 cr. So, by using the definition of um, cnr, so expand this. So, that is n minus 1 factorial by n minus r factorial uh, into r minus 1 factorial plus n minus 1 factorial. Then you have r factorial and n minus r minus 1 factorial. So, here uh, n minus 1 factorial is common in both uh, numerators and uh, denominator le, uh, common term. Adukka. Denominator le, uh, you can see that okay, I am the denominator I'm the denominator n minus r factorial r minus 1 factorial varim, plus 1 by r factorial n minus r minus 1 factorial. So, let us take the uh, common denominator. So, uh, you will get n minus r factorial r factorial. So, here you have to multiply r in the first one. Then in the second one you have to multiply n minus r. So, r will cancel off. So, uh, n uh, e product like varum. so you will get n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial so which is equal to ncr so that is equal to ncr so hence the proof so that is the uh, algebraic proof now let us look at uh, the combinatorial proof so in combinatorial proof, uh, we will solve this as a uh, combinatorial problem. So, let us start with uh, a set A. So, we need to find an expression for NCR. For NCR, that is number of combination of n different objects taken r at a time without repetition. So, you have a set which is containing uh, n elements at a time our objects are choose here okay so let me uh, define a set which is containing n elements so let uh, a equal to the set 1 2 uh, 3 etc n uh, be a set containing uh, n elements now uh, ncr is the number of ways or uh, that is a number of r combinations of uh, a and uh, let us count uh, this uh, so let uh, let us uh, call this as the set s so let uh, s be the set of all r combinations Now, 
Now let us count S in a different way. Uh, so we shall count. the number of elements in s in a different way now um, you started with a set 1 2 3 etc n in a, uh, s will contain uh, r combinations such that the R combinations contain 1 and the R combinations does not contain 1. In K in the R elements choose A and up. Up in the choose A elements 1 and 1 where are they? Okay. Up S the total elements in the R in the 1 where in the R combinations plus 1 in the R combinations. Okay. So every R combination. In S, either contains one or not. Now, uh, if one belongs to S, then uh, the number of ways to form S is so. If one is belonging to S. So, I will add the R combination to the one and the I no more have to choose one. So, remaining one already one. So, remaining R combination to form the R minus objects. So, since one is already there, the remaining R minus one, one again cannot come. So, that has to be chosen from the remaining n minus 1 objects. So, if 1 is belonging to S, the number of ways to form S is n minus 1 C, R minus 1 and if 1 does not belong to S. So, if 1 is not belonging to S, apo 1 is not S, apo S the R objects are, which are not equal to 1. Apo any one of one had come batilla, Pabaki, n minus one objects in the venom, yara choose here. So if one does not belong to S, then uh, the number of ways to form S will be so that can be done in n minus one. Out of the n minus one, you have to choose R because one is not coming. So therefore, by uh, now addition principle. So, add these two uh, disjoint cases. So, by addition principle, so ncr will be equal to n minus 1 cr minus 1 plus n minus 1 cr. So, that is the uh, required result. And let us see another problem. So, the next question is there are 2 raised to 7 binary sequences of length 7. How many such sequences are there which contain Three zeros and four ones. So uh, you are having a binary sequence of length seven. So there are seven uh, positions in total. So in each position, you can have two choices: zero one, zero one, zero one. I'm gonna add uh, two raised to seven. Uh, there will be 2 raised to 7 binary sequences. Now, out of the 2 raised to 7 binary sequences, we need to find out how many such sequences will contain exactly 3 zeros and 4 ones. In a, uh, instead of uh, arranging the objects, so if we have number of objects in the uh, same objects, are, they are not distinct. So, 
zeros is repeating um, three times and one is repeating four times. Okay. Upon number uh, problem, number uh, three days are there. So number seven places under the seven places in the are distinct. So we have place one, place two, place seven. Me. Uh, from the seven places, I can choose three places at a time. So, uh, three places choose here. Uh, we are uh, looking at the selections. Okay. Uh, so, take any three places at a time. So, our uh, three places are number uh, zeros in a uh, place here. And automatically, moon zeros place here. There are many places in one. So, uh, the required number of uh, the sequences will be out of seven places choose three place at a time so that can be done in seven c three ways allengil seven in the nal places choose here uh, and in that four places you uh, fix one baki on the position automatically zero arrange uh, okay so that is either seven c three or seven c four uh, both are equal uh, since ncr is equal to nc n minus r it is either 7c3 or 7c4 so uh, to form a sequence of length 7 first we select uh, Three of the seven places for zero and leave the remaining places for one. So, therefore, the number of ways will be that will be equal to seven C3 or it can be seven. C4. So that is the required number of sequences. So the number of sequences will be equal to 7 C3 and 7 C4. So let us generalize this result. So in general, the number of binary sequences. of length n with m zeros and n minus m ones where your zero less than or equal to m less than or equal to n that is given by so out of um, so total there are n places so, in the n places, choose m at a time or choose n minus m at a time. So, that will be given by uh, n, c, m or n, c, n minus m. So, that is the uh, general result. So, with this, we will conclude for today. So, we will see a few more problems in the coming classes.